past 11.5 add debtors and creditor account to add debtor account first either you go to ar debtor maintenance or you may go to the debtor maintenance shortcut click on debtor maintenance shortcut let's create the first customer the company name is customer one you may click the plus sign to generate the debtor account. The billing address is 1, Jalan 1, Bandar 1, Malaysia. And for the tax, you may set under others, under the tax. But for the customer one, as this is the normal customer, so it will follow our default in the tax code maintenance so you may go back to general and before you save please make sure that all information you already enter and please check for after save action since we have another two customer we want to create now check then click on save the second customer is customer 2 Click the plus sign to generate the debtor's account. The billing address for customer 2 is 2, Jalan 2, Bandar 2, Malaysia. And for the tax, for the customer 2, we also follow the default set in the tax code maintenance. You may go back to general, then click on save. Now let's create the third customer. The third customer, the company name is customer one, customer three. Click the plus sign to add the debtor account. The billing address is three, Jalan three, Bandar three, Malaysia. Now for customer three is special. This customer three. The tax is SV0, means the service tax is 0%. So we will not charge any tax for this customer tree. So you have to set this one and automatically later, any transaction that involve with customer tree, automatic the system will apply with the tax code SV0. Since we already specially assign SV0 to customer tree and this is how we set for the for the special tax code for the customer and also supplier later for the supplier we will also do the same so when you go back to general and check back any information that you miss out and check after save since we already created three customer then click on save You may right click on the shortcut to go to the debtor layout. Now, you may throw out all the empty layout. And you may also right click, click on column chooser. Then you may bring out the column of text. Close customization. As you can see, customer tree is SV0. So if you want this layout to always remain under debtor's layout, you must save the layout. So also right click, then click on save layout. You may enter any layout name, for example, debtor's layout 1. So any changes or any additional of layout you may save again later so once we're done we close for that this layout let's go to creditor you may go to ap creditor maintenance then click the new button to add on supplier so the first company name of our creditor is supplier a 
click the plus sign to, to generate the creditor account. Billing address is A, Jalan A, Bandar A, Malaysia. Now, for the billing address is optional for you. Either you want to enter in one row or different row. Now, under others, for tax, supplier A is follow the default that we set previously, which is SV6. So, you don't have to assign, correction, PS6. So, you don't have to assign any purchase tax code for supplier A. We go back to general to check any information that we miss out. Then, please check after safe action to proceed with new creditor and click on save button. The second creditor is supplier B. Click the plus sign again. The billing address will be B, Chalan B, Bandar B, Malaysia. Then, for the tax code, also we follow the default. Go back to general and click on save. Let's create the last creditor which is supplier C. Click the plus sign to generate the creditor account and also the billing address 3 correction C Jalan C Bandar C Malaysia. And uncheck first after save and click on save. Now for our supplier all tax will follow the default that we set in tax code maintenance. You may also modify the, the layout column. You may throw all those unnecessary columns and right click on the header. Click on column chooser. Just now, if you still remember for address, if you enter the address in one row, you may just bring out address one. Since in our exercise just now, we enter in three columns. So we bring out address one, address two, and also address three. Since all the text code we follow the default, you do need to bring out the text as if you bring out the text column, it will be empty or null. So you may throw the column away and automatic text column will go back to customization box. Now, same like that, term. if you want to remain this setting or this layout, you must save first the layout. So right click, save layout, example of the layout name, you can enter creditors layout 1 and click on OK. Now, close for creditor, we have done create our customer and also supplier. That's all for task 11.5.